Bum, 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 bum. We're wanting to know all about sympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system and how it applies to us, because this is Wearable Wednesday. So a lot of people ask, what's the difference between your sympathetic and your parasympathetic nervous system? Here's a perfect example. Sympathetic nervous system. That is sympathetic nervous system. Heart rate increasing, scared, fight, flight, or freeze. Those are the perfect example. Versus parasympathetic nervous system. Rest, digest. That is parasympathetic. So when we take a look at this, sympathetic nervous system has everything to do with, like I said, fight, flight, freeze, anxious, scared, things like when you're running away from something, things from when you're uh, working out, when you really have to be on, aggression. Whereas parasympathetic is rest, digest, relaxed, calm. Think about like right when we're getting ready for bed or after we've had that big turkey meal laying down on the couch and just kind of rest digesting. That's the difference. So in a sympathetic system, we have a heart rate that is higher. In a parasympathetic system, we have a heart rate that is lower. Now, our parasympathetic nervous system is what's responsible for that really low heart rate and thus a higher HRV score. Whereas sympathetic nervous system is going to be responsible for that high heart rate, high blood pressure, high anxiety, high focus area. Now, there's certain times where the sympathetic nervous system is going to be something that we truly want. Just like we talked about, our workouts, okay? A presentation that we're doing. Um, if we're running from a bear. Those are all times where we want that sympathetic nervous system to be on. If we need to perform at a football game or a sporting event, something like that, we don't want to be cool, calm, collected. But we want that parasympathetic nervous system to be activated when we're getting ready for sleep, when we are learning, when we are eating. These are all times that we want that parasympathetic system to really be ready for us so that we can, again, be relaxed, be ready, be calm, and really be focused. Now, there's a couple ways in which we can get into each of them. One, over here, the parasympathetic, things such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, the Wim Hof style, reading, journaling, going for a nice walk, Things that will really truly calm us down. Having a nice glass of tea. Those are the things that are going to help bring us into this low, slow, rest, digest stage that are going to enhance what we're trying to do in these times. Things like learning, sleeping, eating. That's where it's going to be optimized. Whereas for the sympathetic side, we can do things that are nervous system stimulating, like repping out five quick push-ups or doing a couple quick jumping jacks, or a couple burpees, or we can take uh, caffeine, is very sympathetic nervous system stimulating. Getting in an argument with somebody is very sympathetic stimulating. So these are the things that we would wanna do that would help prime us for workouts, presentations, uh, running from a bear, <laughs> things that we're really gonna have to be up and ready and going for and ready to perform. Jumping in a cold tub right away, cold water immersion, all sympathetic stimulating. Now, in doing this and knowing the true difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, this is what's truly going to allow us to then apply it to our wearables. Because what is this? Wearable Wednesday. And so we want to know how this applies to us because if we're taking a look at our data and we've got low HRV scores, Immediately, that's a, stim that's a sign that our sympathetic nervous system has taken over in some way, shape, or form in putting us in one of these mental states when we're trying to do one of these activities. Or maybe it's just that we're chronically here, and thus we're not able to get into here 
And so there's a balance and spectrum that's off throughout the day. And so we need to figure out how to get ourselves into this area only if we understand what parasympathetic sympathetic nervous systems truly mean and how we get there. So with that, guys, let's make sure that when we look at our HRV scores, we look at our wearables and we take a look at where we're at, that we know that our nervous system is the number one indicator to creating change within that HRV. And now by understanding the difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic, you guys can take action and make sure that we're seeing that uptick in HRV when we want. Go on.